guys, it's Kyra and welcome back to Alira TV. So for today's video, I'll be showing you guys a quick and easy tutorial on a DIY metallic lipstick. Now, a couple weeks ago, I was doing my makeup and I was like doing my face and everything and when it came down to the lip, I really wanted a gold metallic lip, but I didn't have a metallic lipstick. So I figured that I would try to do my best to see if I could use products that I already have to make a metallic lipstick and I did it. I threw a couple things together and it actually turned out really, really well. And you guys, the best part was is that it was absolutely free. I didn't have to spend any additional money. I simply used products that I already had. I'm glad that I found a quick and easy way to make your own metallic lipstick at home using products that you already have. So, to go ahead and get started, you'll need a couple things. You'll need a matte lipstick. This is actually a matte liquid lipstick. I did try this concoction with a couple different lipsticks, but to me, I feel like a matte liquid lipstick works the best. So you'll need a matte liquid lipstick, of course a lip liner, some chapstick or lip balm of any sort, and lastly, your favorite highlighters. Now the highlighters that you'll pick will depend on the actual shade of metallic that you want. So for me, today I'll be going for more of a gold metallic lipstick, but now if you want a more pinkish metallic lip or a more bronzy metallic lip, then you'll definitely cater the highlighter to the actual shade of metallic lipstick, if that makes sense. I hope it makes sense. But basically the shade of powder that you pick will actually be the shade of metallic that you'll get. Let's go ahead and get started. So first things first, before I ever apply liquid lipstick, a matte liquid lipstick, I always apply a lip balm to my lip first. I just feel like applying some kind of shield over your lips really helps with creasing, cracking, and it kind of just helps the lipstick to last longer. So I have already applied my Carmax all of my lips, and now I'll go ahead and just wipe it off. It kind of sounds crazy, but what I do is I just apply the lip balm all of my lips, and then I'll just go ahead and wipe it off. And that kind of helps to create a nice barrier between your actual lips and the lipstick. And it'll keep them moisturized, but it won't affect the lipstick in any way, if that makes sense. So, I'll go ahead and wipe off my Carmax. Just wiping this off. So now I don't have anything on my lips, it's just bare. But my lips still feel moisturized. So that's a really good tip if you're having trouble with liquid lipsticks, is just to apply a lip balm first wipe it off and then apply a liquid lipstick. Now that I have that done, I'm gonna go ahead and of course line my lips. That is a must. Aligning your lips helps to prevent bleeding and helps to prevent your liquid lipstick from you know going all over your lips everywhere. And I'm gonna just go ahead and apply that all around my lips. I've already applied my lip liner. The next step is the liquid lipstick. So today I will be using the Divine Liquid Lipstick by Girlactic. This shade here is actually more on the mauve side. It is a gorgeous color, I will say that. It is so pretty. So I'm gonna just apply that all over the lips. If you guys have not tried the Girlactic Liquid Lipsticks, you are missing out, seriously. The shade is gorgeous, and the consistency of the Liquid Lipstick is just perfection. It does not crease. It does not transfer, it does not crumble, it doesn't do anything, like it's literally perfect. So, I have been loving this. So once I have my liquid lipstick applied, I'm gonna go ahead and wait for it to completely dry before we apply our highlighter. And also, what I like to do whenever I apply liquid lipsticks is I actually like to kind of pat my lips a little bit. Just patting like that really helps to blend in that lipstick with that liner. So now that my lips are dry, we're gonna go in with the most important part, which is the highlighters. As I mentioned before, I'm gonna be going for more of a gold metallic lipstick, but you can honestly achieve any metallic lip with a different highlighter. If I was going for more of a bronzy look, I would, of course, lean more towards a bronzy highlighter. If I wanted on the more pink side, I would lean more towards a pink sheen highlighter. You can basically create any type of shade with the liquid lipstick and highlighter combo. You can basically make anything. For today, I will be mixing Global Glow and Gold Deposit by MAC. So this is Global Glow and this is Gold Deposit. Gold Deposit is more gold and Global Glow is more on the silvery side. So I'll be using more Gold Deposit and just a little bit of Global Glow on top in the center to kind of even it out. Basically, all I do is I just roll my finger around in the highlighter 
and then apply this all uh, see that so easy You guys see how easy this is? I don't know why I think of this earlier. Like, I wish I would have figured this out like months ago because this is just super easy. So here is what the lips look like with just one coat of the Gold Deposit by MAC. And I'm gonna go in with just a little bit more to make it a little bit more pigmented. And as you can see, that mauve color that I had underneath isn't really showing too much. I will say though that it does affect the undertone of the lipstick and I actually like the way that the gold and this mauve color pair together to make it just a very nice metallic lip. Here is the lips with about two coats of gold deposit. I could honestly stop here, but I will go on with just a little bit of Global Glow by MAC. I'm gonna take a little bit of it on my finger and then pat it in the center. You see how it kind of shines a little bit more in the center? All right, now that is basically the lip. I'm gonna go with a little bit more of my MAC Cork Lip Liner to line out my lip line. All right, and then just pat your lips. To help blend that in. And then you are basically done. My last thing I'm gonna do is just take a little bit of the highlighter and apply to my cupid's bow area. Just of course to give us all the glow. We can never glow too much. Just a little bit on the cupid's bow. And there we go. Don't be afraid to try new things with products. With these highlighters, for example, I will use them for my lipstick. I'll use them, of course, as a highlight. I'll use them as an inner corner highlight. I use them as an eyeshadow. I use them for a lot of different things. So just don't be afraid to try new things with products that you already have because who wants to go out and spend tons of money on products that you can easily make at home on your own. So this is the final look, you guys. Super quick and easy. Hope you guys enjoyed this quick DIY video. I'm gonna try to do more of these DIY videos because I love just finding new things to, to try out and play with and things like that. So if you guys have any suggestions or anything that you wanna see from me, then go ahead and leave it down below. And also, if you have enjoyed this video, please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and also give this video a thumbs up. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you all in the next video. Bye, guys.